Okay guys, so after you've washed your sweater, depending on the material, you don't want to throw it in the dryer. I did not throw this in the dryer because I don't want it to ball up. So, you have two methods to do this. You can take the very bottom of your sweater, which is here, okay, or we can take the sleeve part. I'm going to show you the bottom first because i got to hold this camera steady. So, using the bottom where the ribbing is, we're going to want to do this. That part is going to be the part that goes around here to create your mitt. Depending on how much room you have, you can either do it this way and create gloves. Okay, that's a little bit more stitching, so you'll have to outline your fingers. Or, okay, it just so happens that the sleeve portion of the sweater fits my wrists perfectly. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to use the, sorry about that, so with my hand in, thumb will go right here with the seam and we will cut around just like this to make the mitt. So I just want to make sure that this part here gets snug against my wrist, lay this flat and all we're going to do is trace around. Don't use anything dark when you're doing this, okay, because especially if you're using a lighter fabric. Now it's okay if you make it too big because it's easier to shrink down your glove later than it is to try and add if it's too tight. So let me show you how I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm just going to take a pencil here and lightly Okay. I'm doing this with my hand. I don't want to cut up the whole sweater, but if you wanted to, you can actually do this inside out so that it and use something darker so it doesn't matter if you ruin that part of the glove. Okay, so if you can see here, there's my glove and I'm just going to pin this down and cut it out. So grab some pins. Sorry, I should probably show you this too in case you don't want to ruin your fabric. You can also take your hand and trace it onto a piece of paper. By doing this, you now have a stencil. Okay, so we're just going to cut this out. There's your stencil there. So all you have to do now is line that up. Make sure your seams are pressed properly. Okay, I now know that I left out the wrist part because I knew that I wanted this here to be my wrist. So, put this up as close as I can. and I'm just going to pin it down right to my fabric and cut out. This way I can use this on the other sleeve and get the exact same size. Okay, at this point here, I'm just gonna cut right through the sweater. Okay, I've already got the thumb part sewn in, so I'm just going to sew around. Always allow about a half an inch when you do do stuff like this because when we turn it inside out to sew it, you want to allow for the seam. Because it's a little wider, I am going to cut mine a little. Okay, 
And don't worry about that because we can always sew it to make it tighter. So there's my first one. We'll grab our sweater, fold it properly in the seam. Okay. I'm just going to rip this up off of it so that I can keep the pins in place. bugger. Okay, and cut it out. Okay, so now we are just going to remove the pins. and turn your glove inside out. If you've already turned it inside out the first time around before you pinned and cut out, then you don't have to do this part. You can skip it. Okay. And I'm just going to line it all up and pin it back into place. All you're going to do is run this through your sewing machine and I'll meet you back. Okay, after you've sewn all the way around, put the glove on and just make sure, feel around and make sure that you have no openings. I know sometimes fabric can move. If you do, just it's okay, go back to that one area and sew it back the way it was. If you realize there are no openings and you're all set, all you have to do is take your glove, flip it inside out, and poke through any of your little finger spots. Just like that. Okay? And I'm going to go in. Here's that area where I had extra. I already sewed it down, so all I have to do is go into the inside and cut that extra piece off to stop it from bunching. So, you do that with both gloves and you're basically all set there nice and warm. Okay, measuring the circumference of your head, we are going to make one of these little hats. I have one that I used to wear in the summer, so all I'm going to do is, um, you can leave one on there and stretch it out as far as it'll go if it's stretchy material. You judge how big your head is. I've already measured uh, and know that my head goes about here. Line up the bottom of the sweater perfectly which I have, that's where my head goes up to. I'm just going to go right through at the bottom, pin this down so I know it's not going anywhere. And I'm going to just create from here. So I'm building it a little bigger, but again, it's only because I know that I can cut it down from there. Okay, and just to keep it all intact, I'm just going to put another few pins in. So you can barely see it, but I can. Okay. Get rid of your sweater. Same thing, turn it inside out and sew across. Okay, so I've turned my hat inside out and I've pinned all the way across. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this part open and sew right along. 
Okay, now that you've got your hat and gloves sewn up the way you want to, last but not least, use whatever designs came on your sweater. I'm actually going to be cutting out, um, you know, you can decorate it however you want. I wanted to take one of these flowers and sew them onto the tops of each glove as well as uh, leave quite a bit for the headband. So you'll want to cut them out and play around and see uh, where you prefer them. Okay, so using just a regular um, thread and sewing needle, I've cut out two patches here from my sweater. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange them. I'm going to put my glove on and just kind of decide where I want it. Do I like it on the top? I'm most likely going to move it over right to the side here. Okay, so position them where you like and once you've found the right spot, pin them into place carefully slide your hand out and sew it down. Hand sew of course. You don't want to use your sewing machine for this. Okay with both of them pinned into place all I'm going to do is take a needle and thread put a little knot at the bottom. Okay and what you're going to want to do you can take a little from under and pull. Just want it to be nice and firm on there. Okay, again, just hand sewing. Because I'm using the same color thread, you really will not see the entry points, the, the string, the thread, whatever. Okay, go all the way around until you're done both gloves.